penetration, but uh, they couldn't get Hart Hartman. He gets the corner. He's out to the 40. Good straight drop. It rushed heavily and hit as he throws. Herman back makes the catch. Wins it. Touchdown. Vinsler drops back and lofts a pass over the center. Caught for a touchdown. Throws, but he's got Gatlin open. He makes a great leaping grab. We're at North High School on a blustery Friday night where tonight the Golden Raiders will take on Green Bay East. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. In the background you may be able to hear Bill Horsch announcing the seniors from the North High football team. We're gonna work our way through that, Chris. Uh, North comes in without a win this season, but they had a good week of practice. East comes in with an outside chance of still making the playoffs. Yeah, the bottom line for East, they got a, the win out. North can knock them out with a uh, victory today. They got one win in conference, East that is. This is a game at home that North has gotta get. Uh, you know, can they make the season? Can they get a couple wins? East and West on their schedule are two that they can possibly get. Notre Dame at the end is gonna be a little more difficult, so this is the one they have to get. I had a chance to talk with Coach Brixen before the game, Chris, and he was disappointed with their performance last week, but he said he was just amazed at the way the kids bounced back. What do you make of that? Well, two weeks ago against Green Bay Preble, we saw him play very, very well. And as, as you said, we did talk to Coach Brickson, who was very disappointed. And we'll have to see what happens tonight, ball game, bouncing back after, a, you know, a bad, bad ball game. But they have played well at home, and, and uh, East is an opponent they can uh, possibly get. East comes in with not a great, great offensive team, but you know about East, they're always going to play really good defense. I think it's going to be up to the north offense tonight. On offense for East, they do have a pretty good player. I know he's a baseball player. You know about him, Tom Shield. Yeah, Tommy Shields, is. he plays left field for him. He's just got a gun. He's very active. And uh, you said that they possibly could put two guys in there, but Shields is the guy that runs. Another guy to watch tonight is number two, Travis Guns. This guy's an animal on defense, and he carries the ball a little bit. He's their best athlete. You have to know where number two is all night tonight, both offensively and defensively. Got a great football name, Guns. Let's talk a little bit about North. Uh, they're going to be starting uh, Dave Moss at quarterback, and I know he's ranked pretty highly in, in terms of passing yardage. That was something Coach Brixen would not like to have, but uh, being behind, it forces them to throw a lot. That and Peter Reschke's back, too. That helps that offense, too. I think that's the key tonight. I think defensively it's going to be a, a struggle, big time. Can they move the ball on the East defense? You know, for years, Coach Colstead and that defense always knows how to tackle. Can you break Coach Colstead because you know he'll have him prepared? And as you said before, the weather. The weather's going to be a big factor. And any brain surgeon could say this, but I'm going to say it anyways. Turnovers are going to be big. And every year I say the same thing. It's the first night the kids are out here when the weather's changed 30 degrees. They haven't had time to practice. When that ball comes to you this, to tonight, it's going to be a lot different than spin. So the team with the fewest turnovers might win the ball game. We're going to sign off and go warm up, but stay tuned. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the opening kickoff from for tonight's ball game. I, I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy-to-manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. On the football field, you've got to stay focused and not get distracted. The same is true on the road. So before your wireless phone becomes a distraction, take a timeout for safety. In bad weather or traffic, call later. Dial sensibly and use a hands-free device. You know, your wireless phone can be your best safety tool. To call for help, stop a crime, however you use it, remember, with wireless, safety is your call. It starts in your own neighborhood. When you care enough to give your time, to help someone still learning the way and getting involved in the needs of your community. Once you've helped bring a smile to someone's face and help brighten their day, you'll be hooked for life. The Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America are teaming up to make a real difference in the lives of the people in our communities. Join a winning team. See what you can do to help. The time is coming. There's no escape from the day you retire. 
And will you be ready financially? Are you ready, dear? You still can be with investments like an IRA or a retirement plan at work. It's never too late. But start now, because if you wait... You're making a grave mistake. You may wind up working forever. Saving for your financial future doesn't have to be a nightmare. Choose to save. One breakthrough machine gave us insight into the bones, as another did for the heart, and another for the brain. Now doctors are using a new machine to practice medicine and save lives. The difference is, it's one you can use too. When you log on to MedlinePlus.gov from the National Library of Medicine and the National Institutes of Health, you're tapping into the largest, most comprehensive medical website in the world. MedlinePlus.gov, the website doctors prescribe. We're back at North High School. North comes into this game 0-6, 0-4 in conference. East is 3-3 three three overall and 1-3 in, in conference. Got some vital stats, Chris, from uh, Andy McKillop. And uh, Green Bay East is one of the charter members of the Fox River Valley, as is Sheboygan. Not Sheboygan North, but back when they started with Sheboygan High School. So uh, East and West and Sheboygan, and I think uh, Oshkosh and Appleton were all charter member schools. North has not had their way with East over the years, however. Uh, East has uh, really got a good ball club. For a long, long time, and part of that is from Coach Colstead over the last number of years. Now watch what you say. His wife is standing right alongside of me, and I'm sure if she gets angry, I'm the one that's going to take it over the head. <laughs> Let's go through the starting lineup. Uh, Colette Colstead told me that they're not going to introduce as an offense or defense for East. They'll come out as a team, but we'll introduce the uh, North offense, and there you see him going out on the field. Starting at a running back, number one, Cesar Regoza. At quarterback, number seven, Dave Moss. Moss is a senior, he goes 5'10", 166. At another running back is number 32, Nate Kautzer. He also is a senior, goes 6'2", 170. Peter Ross, number 40, will be starting at fullback position. He's a senior, 5'11", 172. Alex Hinsey, who goes both ways, will be starting in the line, he's a senior. 5'11", 176. Peter Reschke, Chris mentioned uh, in the opening that he's back from injury. He'll be starting again tonight. He's a 6'1", 227-pound senior. Also in the line, T.J. Engels. Engels is a uh, two-way player also, Chris. Number 66, T.J. Engels. He's a 6-foot senior, goes 213. And rounding out the line, in the starting lineup for North is number 68, Ryan Hamilton. Uh, take that back. Sean McGee is a senior. He goes 6'2", 252, number 77. He'll be starting at a tackle spot. The two ends for North are number 85, Brad Schmitz. He's a 6-foot senior, goes 150. And Ben Trilling is a 6'2", 198 senior. Ben uh, had some good games, Chris, that we've uh, broadcast. He's a real good receiver and only his first year out for football. Yeah, big target for Dave Moss. And uh, looks to me as I view it that North will get the first chance on offense. East will be kicking with the wind and uh, for one of the few times all year the wind will be a factor as it's coming directly out of the northeast. As long as it's not a factor here in the booth. <laughs> well the wind's blowing up through this way too. Uh, you're right, uh, Colette Kolstad's got behind the wind. She's long time Green Bay Preble. I told her we could open director. that window real quickly and she said absolutely not. <laughs> we want to keep it nice in here. Back deep for North is uh, Ian Andrews and Eric Seafelt. Doing the kicking for East is uh, Nick Hitch. Hitch boots it, taken at about the uh, 14 yard line by Seafelt. Takes it around the right side, he's got an opening. Good return, gets it out near the 40 yard line. Eric Seafelt. Uh, Coach Tudis is uh, shaking his head yes, as gives his offense a good opportunity to get started. He of course takes care of the special teams under Coach Brixen. Eric Seafelt got a bit of an opening and uh, showed good speed getting to the outside. It's going to be first and 10 north, ball spotted on the 39-yard line. Coutzer, Ross, and Regoza in the backfield behind uh, Dave Moss. Two tight ends. 
Hand off to Kautzer, takes it off tackle left. Battling forward, gets about four or five yards. Good run by Kautzer, good blocking up front. Well, that's about what I was gonna say there, Marty. Good blocking up front is gonna be one of the keys today. Can that offensive line control Green Bay East who, as I said, always plays outstanding defense. Coach Colstead has that group going all the time. Currently they're ranked fifth in the league in uh, defense. Second down and five. Schmitz moves out to a wideout on the left. Inside handoff to Ross. He battles forward. He's got a first down inside East Territory. I think it's Nick Jones there, I Marty. think you're right. Nick Jones, number 40. Jones and Ross running in plays. First and 10 north. There you see it right up the middle. And uh, Jones making a good dive forward. It's oh. going to be first and 10 north at the 48-yard line. Well, every once in a while we see that uh, quick hitter right up the middle sprinkled in between Jones and Ross this year, and it's been working. Hopefully they can be a little more consistent with that tonight. Rigoza steps up into a wing left. Fake handoff, Moss keeps it. He's gonna get hit for a loss. Good defensive play by East. They didn't go for the fake at all, Chris. They stayed home on that left defensive side. Big loss. Except our first uh, loss of four on the play. Second and long situation. Second down and about 14. Double wings, Coats are in motion. Hand off to him and making a play in the backfield was Tom Shield. We'll see Shield on offense also. Another, another loss for North on a running play. Ball spotted all the way back at the 44 yard line. Once again, not selling out with the fake, staying home. That's what Shields did there and made the play on Kautzer. East comes in at three and three on the season, just one and three in conference. Trips out here on the left, trilling is the wide runner. And then uh, Moss sees the formation wasn't correct and has to call a timeout. With 9.33 remaining, no score. A North looked on the move, Chris, and all of a sudden, East throws them for uh, two big losses. Yeah, they did, and uh, tried to change up a little bit, trying to go on the outside, but it didn't work. Good idea to call time out there by Dave. I'm sure you got everything squared away here. Third and, Third and obviously, a, yeah, a long way to go here. And you're throwing into the wind here, uh, Marty. So, you know, with this field position here, you, you, you're better off to be safe. There was a good shot of Coach Brixen in his first year at North, formerly from Mayville uh, High School. Had an opportunity to teach here in Sheboygan, and that's uh, one of the reasons he came here. And a golden opportunity to uh, help the Raiders. All right, third and about 18. I was gonna say here, you don't wanna do anything stupid because you can punt it away and pin East back. Schmitz and Coates are now wide outs, left and right. East steps offside, that play will not count. It'll be an offside on Green Bay East. That definitely helps the Raiders there, especially with uh, 18 yards against this wind. Oh, well, it's only 13. That's right, take <laughs> any, the five. Any, any little bit will help. Yep. I was gonna say, uh, Coach Brixen is assisted by uh, Ed Thompson, Pat Krasinski, Mike Trimberger, Trevor Tegel, Todd Tudis, Ted Schirmetzler, Glenn Schachner, and Rick Seideman. And uh, all those coaches, just like in your program, Chris worked very hard to uh, make it a success. And uh, like you said, I think a couple weeks ago, you can't always measure success in terms of wins and losses. No. Here we go, third down and 13. Moss straight back, fakes the screen, got a middle screen to Schmitz, tries to spin off a tackler, but making the stop was Tim Cullen. Fought off the angles block there, could have been a bigger gain. Good play design there, should have worked for big yards, but again, uh, couldn't hold that initial hit there, should have got a couple more yards, and because of the good play there by East, Punches North away, punting. and uh, not a real friendly bounce. 
Going to be stopped at about the 20 or 31 yard, 21 yard line. Got Josh Gilson, number 87, doing the punting for North. It's going to be first and 10 east. Well, one thing you may not know is Coach Colstad actually sits up in the booth, calls plays, which is something that you don't see a lot of coaches do. You can see the field so much better and basically calls the plays down to assistants or works deals with the assistant coaches a little bit. Second back through number uh, 40, 49, Josh Robbins on the carry. Gain of maybe two on the play, we'll give him one. Make it second down and nine. Oh, there's a good shot of Coach Colstad up there. <laughs> that was Shield, I believe, on the carry. Yep. Picks up a few yards. Good tackle by 52, Alex Hinsey. Gonna set up a third and medium range yards, about three. Big stop time for the Raiders. Get that ball right back. Run up the middle, breaking through his shield. He's got a wide open field. He's gonna go, he's down to the 10, the five touchdown shield. Chasing him but not able to catch him was Nate, Cout, Nate Hummage. And shield takes it. There you see the tail end, Marty. 72 yards. Good wow, job of ball faking, Marty. You had three guys set there and kind of froze the Raiders there, and I don't think they knew exactly who had the ball and out streak number four, Tom Shields. And just like that, he strikes quickly. Wow. Into uh, attempt the extra point is uh, Nick Hitch, their uh, kickoff man. Uh, Hitch was trying field goals from uh, pretty far away, but uh, wasn't successful in practice. Let's see how he does on this extra point. Drills it right through with uh, 7.46 remaining in the first quarter, east on top, seven to nothing. trip or visit TravelWisconsin.com. Back at North High, you see uh, Dan Olson. Dan Olson uh, trying to fire up the troops. Yep. And the wives are just trying to stay warm. Yep. Well, we got a wind of shield in the in before the game, and uh, he surely showed uh, what he can do. 73-yard touchdown run. He wasn't aided by the wind either. No. <laughs> that was all pure speed. Well, Seafelt had a good return the first time. Let's see if he can repeat that. Seafelt takes it at about the 13-yard uh, line, hits it up the middle, and is dropped at the 29. First and 10 from there for North. Well, second time for the uh, North offense. First time they saw some luck up the middle a little bit. There you saw the tail end there. And then all of a sudden they got clamped down with a couple big losses and uh, actually had a nice setup I thought on that third down pass but uh, failed to execute and. First and 10 North, Moss ducks under center. Schmitz wide left. Fake to the first back, Moss keeps it going off tackle right, drops the ball, but it's fell, fallen on by a North lineman. Sean McGee recovering it. 77, Sean McGee quick on the spot there to get that fumble, and like I said, this weather's gonna be a little bit of a factor tonight 
First time playing a ball game with the Chris Bear and tell you what, I like that heat on Tuesday a lot better than this. Second down. Moss hands it off to Rigozzi, he cuts it back, he's got an opening. Cutting back the other way and making the stop for East was Jared Thomas. But a good cutback by uh, Cesar Rigozzi. Here you see the replay, not only is a good cutback, he used his blocker, the official, to the best of his ability. <laughs> and First and 10 north on a good run by Cesar Rigoza. Ball spotted on the 48-yard line. 15-yard pickup by Rigoza. Oh, Schmitz jumping offside. That'll be a five-yard penalty on north. Be first and 15. First Actually, penalty of the I guess, night? I guess it's technically illegal motion. We want to get it right up here, Chris. <laughs> Kautzer on the wing right. First back through is Ross. He pounds forward. He's got a good gain. We got a flag right in the middle, which would indicate a holding call on north. That's going to negate a good run by Peter Ross. Well, second penalty on North right after oh, that hurts. bet. And the first penalty earlier on East, but this one back to backs on North. That really hurts. Still gonna be first, first down, but it's gonna be a bunch. Gonna march it off from the line of scrimmage. It's gonna move the ball. Back inside the 35 to the 37. Wow. Nice run. And that's just big, big penalty. Yeah, first and 25. Pitch out to Regoza. He bounces off one tackler and then he's hit and dropped by Sam Van Stratton. Sam I am. There you see it, watch. Good form tackle. Picks him right up and dumps him. Rigoza picked up one yard. Wow. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, really. Second down and 24. All right, the middle's open. Moss straight back, steps up, fires the middle, and it's knocked away. Breaking up the pass attempt was Chance Barrent. Intended receiver, I believe that was... Uh, Kautzer, but that I... was Kautzer, okay. Kautzer was looking for some interference, and that was pretty close. I was thinking the same thing there. But to uh, no avail, the officials left their uh, flags in, in their pockets, pocket. and... Uh, yeah, Just have another third long for the second consecutive series, Marty. When we need them to throw it, they don't. Third and long. Inside handoff to Ross. He gets a pretty good chunky yardage, but not nearly enough for the first down. He's going to be spotted at the 44-yard uh, line. Pick up a seven on the play, make it six. Fourth down. Punt is away by Gilson. Fielded by East and then knocked out of bounds was Jared Thomas. And TJ Angles number 66 got the stop there, I believe, or was it 68 Ham? I think it was TJ Angles. East will have their second possession, actually in much better field position than the first. They're gonna be all the way up to the 35 yard line. Well, the wind probably affected some of that punt. That's exactly how it is tonight. Bitterly cold and you gotta cover yourselves up. 
Welcome to football weather. Now those fans are at every game, Chris. Yep. Boom. Knocked down with shield. Picks up maybe two or three yards. Was hit hard. Second down. Give him a pick up a three on the play, actually. Fake inside handoff, we got a trap play. Well, you could see that lineman number 63 pull out and run down the line and try to knock out the North defender, but the North covered it up pretty good. Garrett Vanderposs was the pulling lineman, Chris. Pick up a two. I didn't catch the number of that uh, ball carrier. That was Van Stratton. Van Stratton, number 44. Sets up a third and long here, Marty, third and five. Once again, a chance to stop them. Let's see if they do. We got option. Shield fakes the pitch and then he tries to run it. He's going to be stopped a yard short of a first down. Well, that's decision time for East. Looks like they're sending out the punting group, Marty. Yeah, I hope they do. We got uh, Seafelt back deep and. Uh, if East watched any film of that uh, game, well, North had all their guys back. And, yeah, uh, that's why North got their guys Preble. moved. Yeah, Treble ran the fake and uh, gained the first down on fourth down. Who almost jumped offside, but North stays. Bad punt. Wow, especially with the wind. By Hitch. And it does take an East bounce, but uh, not very far. It's going to be downed at the 31. So a good break for North. They'll get it in good field position. All they need to do something with it. Well, I think uh, with the third and one, or excuse me, fourth and one situation, Marty, the punting group side to slide their guys back up, which is the right thing to do. And again, fo force the hand of East to make them punt the ball away. So far that East defense has been pretty stifling, which we knew they're going to do. They Ian Andrews is in the backfield now for North. Trilling is split out to the right, inside handoff to Ross. He battles forward for uh, two or three yards. Give him a pick up a two. Ross has two carries for eight yards. We're at the 240 mark of the first quarter. East on top, seven to nothing. North trying to mount a drive. Hand off to Kautzer, he battles forward and he's pushed back right at the 40. I think he's gonna be just short of the first down. I like that play too. Number 32, Kautzer taking the ball and again, kinda had everybody going to the right and a quick hitter up the middle. Third down and one. Well, in the past, the North has liked to run Moss on a quarterback sneak. Let's see what they do here. Hinzi making a good block. Good surge by the North line. And Moss easily gets the first down. Good quick count, Chris. I like that part of it. You know, don't let East get set up in their defense. Call it quick. There you see it. And a good surge by the North line. First and 10 for the Golden Raiders. I'd like to see Ball their... spotted on the 43, we'll call it. I'd like to see their fourth down plays this year. They must have a very high percentage of making first. Here we go, first and 10. Rigoza has it, tries to cut it back. He's through the line of scrimmage, cuts it back again. Shield misses him. He's at the 35, the 40. Check that, the, the four, 35, and now he's dropped at the 30-yard line. Good cutback again by Cesar Regoza. Without an official in the way there, you see the tail end, and you see Shields with a whiff. And then Regoza slides up and over to 30, oh, call it to 29, Marty. Is there any truth you'd like to see more of those whiffs in the spring? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by Shields and uh, Guns and some of those other East guys. But well, uh, spotted on the 29 yard line. That's a 14 yard pickup by Regoza. He's got a 14 yarder and a 15 yarder, Chris. He's been... Uh, Running hard tonight. Inside handoff to Jones. He leans forward to about the 26. Give him a pick up a three. Uh, 
Second down and seven for the Raiders. They're on the move. Actually, that was a pickup of about four, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a, they got yeah. seven on the board, but it looks better than that. Yeah, for sure. He goes a pounding it right up off tackle, puts his head down and sees what he can get. Picks up a few more. North got a real friendly spot on that uh, Nick Jones run. Give him four yards on that pit, on that play. Can make it a two yard pickup for Regoza. Makes it third down and about three. Interesting to see what they run here. They struggle getting to the outside. They've had a lot of luck on the inside, but they've been running inside a lot. Maybe the outside will be open now. And off to Andrews, he cuts it back. He's got a little bit of an opening, put his head down and drove forward. And I think he's got the first down. Well, according to this foot, it's going to be awfully close. There you see, watch him. Puts his head down, boom. He's Up the middle it. again, Marty. They work yeah. in that middle. Like Listen. I said, they East does very well on the outside. Clock winding down in the first quarter. North, North won't run this play out. And at the end of one quarter of play, Green Bay East on top. Seven to nothing, but North is on the move. We'll take a short break and be right back. Research Foundation. For me, it's giving the best of myself. For me, it's the professional team environment and the mutual respect that I share with my colleagues. For me, it's providing my patients with the best and safest care possible. For me, it's having the latest in healthcare technologies and the privilege of providing the best health care to America's veterans. We are the nurses of VA. VACareers.com a career in caring. Back at North High School, ball is spotted just a tad inside the 20 yard line, so we'll call it first and 10 at the 19. North mounting a good drive late in the first quarter, and hopefully they can extend it here in the second and tie up this ball game. Trilling split out wide to the right. Culture in the slot. Inside handoff to Regoza. And he finds the running very tough. Short gain for Cesar. Well, it's worked all night. Keep going at it, but that time East did a nice job of shutting that down there. North now has the wind. Dave Moss has attempted as many passes as anybody else in the league. He tied with that with 69 with Kevin Dart from Green Bay West, who we saw a week ago. Dave's 30 for 69, 320 yards. He is one for two tonight. Topped that total a little bit, that nice little screen pass. He has thrown two TD passes on the season. Schmitz wide out to the left. Inside hand off to Coutser. He leaps one tackler and leans forward. He's inside the 15 and dropped at the 14. All those stats are from conference play, Marty. I should say that, too. We don't have all games, right? Yeah, the, the uh, two non-conference games. Third and five here. Coulter leaped a tackler in the middle of the line to pick up uh, good yardage. Big third down play for North. Scott's got that... Uh, Replay machine really fired up tonight, Chris. It's about the only thing that's probably warm. <laughs> it's keeping <laughs> Scott warm in the booth, in the truck, I mean. Schmitz, and then we get a penalty. Too much time taken by North to run the play. It's gonna be a five yard penalty, so instead of third and five, it'll be third and 10. That was a bad one. Penalties continue to hurt North. Two on the last drive. Now a crucial one here when you're 
Trying to go in for the tying score. North had two penalties in the first quarter, Chris, for 15 yards. And uh, well, this one here, like you mentioned. Going with the wind. We're in the second quarter, east on top, seven to nothing. I formation, Coates are the deep back. Ross, the up back, fake pitch. Pass to Trilling with a great catch, and he's knocked out of bounds near the five yard line. Whoa, baby, what a catch. That time they got the defensive end to sucker in, and uh, Moss was able to get to the outside. And good thing Dave Moss has good feet. feet. Watch him here. He's gonna roll to the right. Fake, roll, look at those good feet, loft it up there, and big tall Trilling picks it up, and they're inside the five. Excuse me, we'll call it the seven. seven. And uh, see if North can get that score. Nice pitch and catch. First and goal at the seven. Hand off to Rigoza. Keeps going to the outside. Gets near the end zone before he's pushed back at about the three yard line. Cesar Rigoza running hard tonight. On well, the chart guys down here at the end are putting their arms out telling coach it's about a yard away. Well, what the heck? Is it the yard there, or they moved it to the two, Marty? Two yard line, pick up a five by Regoza. Good Wow. Run. I actually thought he was back further than that even. Did you? Yeah. I thought it was closer. Second down and goal for North. Kautzer, wing right. Inside handoff to Ross. He's hit right at the line of scrimmage and leans forward near the end zone, but he didn't get in. That was a good piece of running by Peter Ross. Somebody for me snuck in. Good shot from on top there, about a half a yard away. Now it's Nomas time, number seven. Third and goal, we're gonna have to call it the one, even though it's uh, probably the one inch line. 75, big Matt Browning's in the way of East. There line. goes Moss to the right side of his center, Alex Hinsey, and he's into the end zone. North is an extra point away from tying up this ball game. Well, a nice drive by the Raiders. 13 plays before they finally got it into the end zone. Six sixteen minutes, six minutes and sixteen seconds on the drive too, Marty. Very impressive. Here's Phillips in for the extra point. Pat Phillips, the difference maker. Ah, kicks it right through. Very good. With 8:53 remaining until halftime, North seven to seven with East all tied up. Do you know how many kids are risking their health by eating unhealthy foods, stuffing themselves, and not getting any exercise? Thank goodness, you got here just in time. Where's the problem? In there. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Here, try this, the original fast food. Doctors know that our children need a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, high-fiber vegetarian foods to help them grow up healthy. Call for a free booklet or visit kidsgethealthy.org. Hey. That's God's finger thumbnail. That's what Brian told me when we were going to get our, our hot dogs tonight. Which of the fuck? Oh, missed that one, Andy. Sorry. <laughs> Looking at the moon. Phillips getting ready to kick off. Back deep is uh, Jared Thomas. He takes it inside the five. Reverse handoff. No, kept it. And he's got room to run. Phillips, the last man, can't get him. Finally, it's Andrews and Greg Jooms knocking him out of bounds, but not before a great return by number five, Peter Bergstrom. I wonder if he sells cars. <laughs> Good one, Marty. It's going to say the uh, they faked the reverse and they had me faked out. <laughs> What the, uh, what the reverse did do was... Uh, Which of the following players attended East? 
Uh, I think it was Bud Key. No, he was West. I don't see Arnie Herber. Wild guess. Curly Lambo. Curly Lambo. All right. First coach, owner, Packers. I thought the uh, reverse there, there's a timeout here, did a nice job for uh, East because it sold at least four or five North players that had to stay home so they couldn't go towards the ball. Because of that, it created less North players down here and a big opening for East, and you're right. You know, Phillips didn't make the stop, but he's got an arm up there to slow him down a little bit so uh, Junes could finally make the tackle, but that, that was uh, very well done by Green Bay East. Curly Lambeau. I didn't know that. I remember Bud Keys, but he went to West. Yep. We talked about him last week, I think. Juan Herber, he was a very good NFL player. Yeah, he could hold his own. <laughs> Be going up to that tundra on Sunday and hopefully they'll get their first win. I think the Bears are gonna beat the Browns too I in Cleveland. Oh so. boy, oh boy. I just I'm not a Bears fan or anything hey, like you get are. Get out of the booth. Get out of the booth. <laughs> but uh <laughs> I think they can play some pretty good D. Hey you're gonna miss that 10:30 mass on uh on Sunday over at St. Dominic's. It'll be quite a show with the uh, All Saints choir from Milwaukee coming in. Inside handoff north uh, stands tall on that run by East. On the carry was number 35. Preston Delaval picks up a yard. Second down and nine. And I believe somebody lined up offside, Chris. I think you're right. And I think it's going to be a North guy. Offside, North. Yeah, this is not a good situation, Chris. That's their fourth penalty of the night. It's a simple situation. And you got to look down there. You know, you can't even, if you walk up to the line and accidentally go over and then adjust back, that's a penalty. At least that's all it was when I was in high school. I think you're right. They don't allow you anything. No. Boy, you better do it right the first time. Quick flip out by Devin Johnson. And his pass is a wide of the mark. His intended receiver was Chance Berndt. So that's first pass attempt by East. Well, we know East doesn't like to uh, throw very often, but I'll tell you what, with all their running, they had some wide open receivers and Johnson just missed them there. That was a yeah. very well designed play, but just not executed very well. well but I'll nice tell you what, they were there. <laughs> yeah, nice thing about it is you still have two downs to get the first down. They've got uh, about four yards to go. Shield back, fires a pass out. He's got his receiver. Guns. Guns makes a catch and he's dropped at about the 15 yard line. Nice running catch. Shields to Guns. Like I said, you need to know where that guy is. So at the beginning the, of the show, here you'll call, see it. Call it the 19, out of the 20 yard pickup. Just a minor little wheel play there, short pass out of the backfield and Guns can run a little bit. And a big first down for East. Here we go, first and 10 at the 19. Third back through, eluding a couple of tacklers and then leaning forward was uh, Josh Robbins, number 49. He actually slipped on the play and still got up and motored in there for a nice gainer. And uh, North off, or excuse me, defense that was playing so well also giving up two big plays back to back. Ball spotted inside the 14, at the 14 yard line. Second back through, Van Stratton, I think that is. He barrels down near the near the five. You know, and all this started on that offside penalty, Marty. Again, another mistake gives East those extra chances. It hurt them on offense, and now it's hurting them on defense as North gets, excuse me, East gets closer to the goal line. Call it the five yard line, make it a nine yard pickup for the East ball carrier. First and goal for East. First back through, or no, second back through. 
Quarterback was shield. He faked the inside handoff, took it off, yes. tackle right, shield got it down nice near, near the goal line. Sorry, Marty, I was just gonna say, Shields did a nice job selling that one. You gotta help me out, Chris. You're in the booth here for your eyes. <laughs> well, he did a nice job of faking, and when that belt, you can't see the ball with our us back here. Shield on a quarterback sneak. Uh-uh. North pushing, it's still a scrum. And the whistle blows, no touchdown signal. They held on that play, it's gonna be third and goal. Well, we've seen North stand up there before. And boy, oh boy, it's really close. There you see Brian Andrews down there with the, the view. It's a good half a yard away and Good job by the big boys up front, and North's gonna stack it up again. Watch for a bootleg for Shields. Here we go, second back through, barrels in, touchdown. And they're unpiling. And the winner is? <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Derek Vanderplas on the touchdown. Oh, I gave it to the big, big offensive lineman. Holy cow. Good run, Vanderplus. Number 63, he was that pulling guard on that one play, Chris. The refrigerator. Fake. Pass. Diving catch is made, and Guns makes the catch. It's a two-point conversion for East. They're up 15 to seven. Ooh, they caught him off guard there. Two-pointer with the 5.54 remaining in the first half. East jumps on top, 15 to seven. There you saw that extra point. Two paths a child can take. Sir, try not to move. For over 25 years, we've been helping children choose the right one. Communities and schools, helping kids stay in school and prepare for life. Scores from the past. East has won 25 Fox River Valley championships, the most of any team. From 1935 to 41, East won seven straight titles. Wow. Yeah. We talked about West a week ago and all their titles. East and West for so long dominated sports. And East has still won a few conference championships over the last 10 years or so. But uh, just amazing how good those football teams were. Not a deep kick that time. Oh, takes a bad hop. East, I think, is going to get it, Chris. It took a real bad hop for North. It spun right back to east si uh, side of the field, and an east player was right there and made the recovery. And I think it was number eight, Tim Cullen. Well, Here you're going to see it. Watch the way the ball bounces. Boop, right back. And the east guy was right there. Well, it's just like an onside oh, kick. Oh, boy. You can't just assume you're going to get it. Somebody has to get the ball. First and 10, ball spotted on the 30, 31 yard line. Shield, quick pass is complete. Guns has it. No He's way. down to the five, in for the touchdown. Yes, way. Unbelievable. 31 yard pass play, Shields to Guns. And uh, East has struck quickly for two scores in the second quarter. And uh, right now, it's 21 to seven. There you see it. East slips by, or Guns slips by one tackler. And, Races into the end zone. Oh boy. They messed up the extra point though. Well. That helps with the two point from before. Right. Well, funny way to get 21, but that's exactly what East has with 547 remaining. A total of seven seconds of runoff from the last time they scored until they got uh, this one. It's uh, 21 to seven, east on top. 
This is firstgov.gov. Brand new student loan applications on the site, baby. This calls for a celebration. Where we're obsessed with getting you government information. Make it to the dandy. Make it. What are those? Government surplus cars for auction. You posted those online last time. No, you did. I'm posting them online this time. Just log on or email us and get what you need. Firstgov.gov. Back at North High School there, you see up on the top camera is Jeff Granke. Working the sideline camera is Brian Andrews. In the truck is our director, Scott Miloff, being assisted by Andy McKillop. My partner is Chris Wright, and I'm Mike Martin bringing you the uh, broadcast tonight. And uh, North showed that they can move the ball, but uh, you mentioned in the opening, Chris, it's not about moving the ball, it's about playing defense. Yep, and uh, now it's a matter of how much pride you have. You gotta get back in the game right here and now, show some pride. So you're down two scores, you're at home, you got the win, you got plenty of time to get something put together, and uh, now you've got to dig a little bit in the heart a little bit to end this first half and get yourself close. Seafell took that kickoff, and uh, North is going to have it at the 32-yard line, first and 10. Be nice if they could uh, manufacture a score before we go into halftime. Fake handoff, Moss trying to slip by a tackler, can't, throws the ball in the direction of Ben Trilling and no grounding call. It probably could have been called, but uh, Moss doing a good job of thinking on his feet, Chris. Pretty lucky. <laughs> ben Trilling was a long way away. He was a long way away, and uh, I don't know what the officials were looking at there. Hey, that was a great call. It was a great <laughs> no call. Here we go, second and 10. Inside handoff. It was either Ross or Nick Jones. We'll have to see when they uh, get off the pile. I think it's number 80 there, Nick Jones. Nick Jones on the carry. Jones goes for two yards. Third down and eight. North looking to uh, move the ball and close this gap. There. Right now they trail it with five minutes left, 21 to seven. Wide receivers left and right. Moss under center takes a snap, fake handoff, gives it to Regoza who drops it and then he picks it up on the run and falls down as he picks it up at about the 36. So it'll be fourth down. North, uh, Somewhat fortunate to get the, the ball back. Josh Gilson back to punt. Back deep to receive the punt is Thomas. Good pick up by Gilly and he booms that one over the head of Thomas that one. He picks it up inside at the five, trying to get the corner being chased by Ingles. Ross trying to get a piece of him, can't. Good block out there. Gilson finally knocks him out of bounds. Let's see if we get a replay of that, you're gonna see a real crunching block by an East player. Ingles can't catch him right here, boom! Good block laid by Tim Cullen of East. Back to back good blocks there, that's for sure. And uh, wow, great punt and yet they get out to the 33 and. Yeah, back, picked it up at the five, the 25 yard punt return. Wow. Actually a 28, 27 yarder. Was it at the 33? Second back through. Van Stratton doesn't do much. Picks up maybe one yard. Make it second down and nine. Ball spotted at the 34 yard line. There you see our chili fans tonight. Nice. Lots of hot chocolate being sold. The concession Got stand. that right. Shields fakes a handoff, then keeps it, and he's hit and stopped at about the 37 or 38. But uh, good play by North. They didn't go for the fake that time. 
It's gonna be third down. Give Shields a gain of three. Gut check time now for the D. They gotta step up and give that offense another chance here. Clicking down to three minutes. You gotta know where Shields is, you gotta know where Guns is. We said at the beginning of the show and before the game started, we just gotta get going here. And there's uh, penalty flags, whistle no, blows no, before the no. play. Or do we have a timeout? Timeout East. Timeout East before the play is run. With that timeout, we'll take a short break. It's 21 to seven East with 2.59 remaining until halftime. <laughs> Well, that's one thing with the timeout. There's a concession stand. Next week, we, we go back to south. It's going to say, one thing with Coach Kolstad up on the top, he doesn't like what he sees. He's right there to call a timeout. He's got such a nice view from up there. You know, I remember this Two Rivers basketball coach who also coached football. And when he'd coach his basketball team, he'd be in the second bleacher so he wouldn't get up and yell at the officials so much. <laughs> Guns has it, trying to get to the outside. He's surrounded by a number of North tacklers and uh, is hit for a little or no gain. I don't know if he lost his footing there, Marty, because he just didn't seem to want to turn it upfield. Well, Watch him here. He sees a bunch of North guys chasing him. Yeah. Where am I gonna go? Right. He's got such good speed up there. I was surprised he didn't try to cut it up earlier or do something or try to outrun it. There's a nice view from up, up top. Yeah. Out of the concession stand. We, I have never seen that view from our TV8 crew before. That's, that's Jeff Greinke's trying to stay warm up there. <laughs> Keep moving. <laughs> time out for Sheboygan North, uh, trying to conserve as much time to uh, get this ball back and hopefully put a score on the board. Gain of one that time by Guns, by the way. Makes it uh, fourth down. Yeah, that's a good shot. Oh, there's me. Oh, that's even a better shot. Bending over, looking out. Yeah, and I stay behind the bar, which is uh, even better. Writing down some of my statistical things here, my minutes on the clock. and Not a good snap, not a good catch, but the punt is away. Oh, and East gets a nice bounce. Oh, they get a wonderful bounce. It's going to be drop dead right at the 35. It could have been at the 40 or better. First and 10 for the Raiders. Any one of those guys could have stepped up and tried to fair catch that and yeah, do something. I don't think so, Chris. The, the guys that are going to catch the ball were too far back. Yeah, that's true. And the other guys, we don't want them trying to catch the ball. That's true. I'm just thinking, though, they should just... Uh, you well, they're 65 yards away from pay dirt. One thing uh, North hasn't shown a great deal this season is uh, breakaway plays, you know, where they're going to pick right. up big chunks of yardage on a long play. But let's see if they can do it here. Pitch out to Kautzer. He's through the line of scrimmage, cuts it back. He's at the 40. You he asked. goes through, he's at the 30, the 20, the 10. He's hit and dropped inside the five yard line. Who said they can't break a long play? I told you they could, Chris. Yep. <laughs> Nathan Kautzer. He broke Tra away from the defense. And Travis Gunn's Guns the last guy. and Tried to strip ooh. him and he's knocked down at about the four yard line. Great run. Nathan got the wind knocked out of him or something because he fell down hard on his head. But just when you ask for it, they deliver <laughs> one. And what do those announcers know? I'll well, tell you. Well, and you're, you were right though, Marty. We haven't seen it. And of all the times to get a play, that's the time to do it. And Coucher's gonna sit this one out, but uh, hey, if that's what we have to do is jinx them a little bit in a positive, let's do it. 62 yard run. Ross takes it inside, fights to the end zone and he's pushed back. Got it down near the one yard line. Gain a two there, you see Coucher again. Watch when he finishes here, Marty. Kinda goes hard on his head. Boink, you're right, face mask first. Second and goal, ball spotted at the one yard line. In the backfield is number 87, Josh Gilson. 
And uh, Moss on a keeper, he stops short. And now it's gonna be third down. You know, in a sense, Chris, this isn't necessarily a bad thing because it allows, provided North scores, it allows East less time to work before we go to halftime. There you go. New record against Green Bay East, Nate Kautzer, 62 yards, breaking the previous of 60. She said, I thought I held the record. And hopefully Nathan will save <laughs> these tapes and show his grandkids someday. See, this is where I got hit and fell on my head. First back through is the lineman, number 74, Tommy Phelan. He is the refrigerator. <laughs> oh boy, never and I ever say, thought I'd see the day that Tom Phelan right. would get one in there, but. I think uh, Coach Brickson got a brainstorm from uh, Coach Colstead. Yes, he did. Drive. Here's our elephant package, Kerb yeah, really. Wonk. Take that. Yep. Well, in to kick the extra point is uh, Patrick Phillips. Brad Schmidt's the holder. A little bit of a high snap. He gets it down. The kick is up and good. With one minute remaining until halftime, North has closed the gap. It's now East 21, North 14. Here you're going to watch the refrigerator. Boom! <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> Take that, George Crumby. I remember when it first hit me. Applied energy in a forward direction equals human locomotion. What does this all mean, Doc? Well, it changed what we doing. I thought, wow, this concept might actually change the way we get from point A to point B. I felt like Einstein inventing the telephone. <clears throat> I give you the human foot. Get up, get out, get moving. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Hey, back at North High School, here you see uh, Patrick Phillips getting ready to uh, kick off uh, North. Nice drive, Chris, 65 yards. In three plays. In three plays. <laughs> Big one was Kautzer's uh, first play of the drive, 62 yards, got it down inside the five. Onside kick! And we just can't get it, I think North might have it. There's a big no. scramble for the ball. They had it and they got missed it. it. I'll tell you, East had the best shot at it, but it bounced off of, I think that was uh, Collins' hands, number eight. Then East got it back. They're gonna have it first and 10 at the 40. And uh, the clock never moved. Come on, run the clock. Oh, man. Well, you're asking your defense to step up here, Marty, with a minute. You know, there's gotta be some time run off the clock, Chris. I mean, it bounced off of one person's hands and then there's a scramble for the ball and you know, the clock never ran. It should have been a few seconds run off. Well, hopefully they can step up. Nice well, attempt there by Phillips. Let he got your the ball. cornerback step up too far. Interesting. Ooh, nice come up and run and tackle. Trying to take the ball outside was Johnson, but uh, he was smacked down by Andrew Priggy. And a loss on the play. Hey, KT. KT's in the house. Hey, Kyle. All the way nice back to from see ya. It's a long Platteville. drive from Platteville. That's right. He's not wearing any orange either. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Trying to take it off tackle with Shields, and uh, he picks up a few yards. Not a great deal, but some. Are you going to see it? Fake inside, kept it. Uh, pretty good pursuit by North to make that play. It's going to be third down and eight. Clock running four, three, one. <laughs> that was my Harry Carey impression. <laughs> That's <laughs> halftime. <laughs> We're at halftime here at North High School where Green Bay East leads it 21 to 14. Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my 
<laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? If you give someone a fish, you feed them for a day. Teach someone to fish. You feed them for a lifetime. Give me a fish, and you'll feed me for a day. Teach me to fish, and you'll feed me for a lifetime. Through Volunteers of America, you can help change lives in your community. Two million seals and counting, killed over the last decade. Make your voice heard. Visit ifa.org to end the cruelty. This is a tree that was never chopped down. To make a crutch that was never needed by a child who never got polio. Because vaccine was never in short supply. Thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either. Over the years, Rotary Club members have helped immunize over 2 billion children against polio. Soon... Back at North High School, we have some stats from halftime. Uh, actually, North outgained East. Even though I'm was popping very, very my close. fist, Marty, because I wanted North to take the wind in the fourth quarter, and they did. That's the way to think. As I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> North outgained East 167 to uh, 165 at halftime. 
And uh, North for their passing was two for four for 17 yards. Uh, the leading ground gamer, gainer, of course, was uh, Nate Kautzer. He had 74 yards in only five carries, the big one being that 62-yarder, get him, getting him down inside the five. East uh, had 114 yards rushing, 51 passing. Their big ground gainer was Tom Shields, who had uh, 96 yards and eight carries, the big one being the 73-yarder for the touchdown in the first half. And the kickoff is carrying back to Seafeld. He takes it at the 15. He's up to the 20, the 25, 30. Breaks loose at the 40, and he's knocked out of bounds outside the 40-yard line. Another nice run back for the Raiders. And they'll have good field position to start off the third quarter. North got the ball at the start of the first half. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. You want to bet? I'll bet. How much? Let me check my sheet. Oh, East deferred. North got the ball in the first half, because I got it right here. And then they, uh, they got it again. Plus, they're going to have the win in the fourth quarter. I like this. All right, here we go. You're right. Hand off to Kautzer, off tackle, cuts it back. He's got good running room. He's at the 50, the 40, 30. Not He's going to go all time. the way this time for a touchdown. Nate Kautzer. Oh, baby. 60-yard run. Maybe 59. Area Seed will call it 59. Good bobbing and weaving, and then at that point, he just outruns the defense. Guns isn't going to catch him this time. Wow, what a start. North gets the ball twice, and I like the fact they have the win in the fourth quarter. He couldn't ask for a better situation to start the half. So Mrs. Colstead, is it 60 or 59? Okay, we'll go with 62. 60 also. <laughs> also, pardon 62 me. 62 the last time, and Phillips with a chance to tie it here, Marty. Patrick has been uh, dead on his first two kicks, and it looks like he is on this one, too. And that was into the oh. wind. What? Off to the side. Uh, we don't get a real good look at it in terms of this top camera, but uh, we're going to show it again, a replay. We're looking at our monitor, too. It looked good, but it wasn't. No good. So, with 11.41 remaining in the third quarter, North still trails 21 to 20. That's disappointing. Hi, I'm Russell Simmons. Today I want to talk to you about a very important subject, and cruelty to animals. Emmy was a victim of cruelty, and someone did something about it. Someone called the ASPCA and put an end to it, because Emmy can't talk. The fact is, animals are abused all over this country, and people sit by and do nothing. They're not slick or fly or cool or none of that. It's just cruel. If you're aware of any animal abuse, go to ASPCA.org to find out what you can do now to make a difference. She can't do it for herself. Back at North High School where uh, lightning is struck again in, in the name of Nate Kautzer. He had a 62-yarder in the first half to get North into scoring position. Tommy failing. Phelan punched it in from the one. And then Kautzer took the first uh, carry of the second half from the 40 and ran it all the way in for the score. Phillips kick is uh, going oh, deep. It's boy. gonna go out of bounds at the uh, 15 about. That's back-to-back -back big mistakes by your kicker and boy, that's ouch. Now I think uh, East actually has three choices they can yep. make here. 35, where it went out of bounds, or have him re-kick it. Did you tell me that at the South yep, game last week? Yeah, last week, because we didn't know it two weeks ago. Okay, yeah. So yeah. we, uh, I got that checked out. And that's what he's telling them right now. You can take it here, or here, there. or over there. Yep, or have him do it again. <laughs> and if and I'm he, East, I'm taking... Like, can I run over and talk to my coach first? <laughs> They're going to take it at the 35, Marty, which is, the, I think, the right thing to do. There's Al Denboer. Al yeah. does a little umpiring. From Oosberg. Yeah, does a little uh, football refereeing, as you can see. Also a long time basketball that's, uh, coach. Charlie Stark. Charlie and I played football here at North. The guy in the white hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a couple years ahead of me. Married a classmate of mine. Oh, I remember you we talk, we've had him yeah. as on the crew before. Yeah, and the, I call him Al Stark after the bowler. <laughs> of course, it's Charlie Stark. First and 10 for East. Ball spotted on the 35. 
pitch out, heading around the left end and getting some room to roam. Oh, move my paper so I can get that guy's name and number. Is uh, Preston Delavol. Good run by that kid. Justin Weaverdink delivered the blow at the end there, but too big of a gain there. And ball is going to be spotted on, uh, we'll call it the 50, give him a 15 yard gain. Much too much, however. Here we go. Hand off to Delavo again. I believe that was. He leans forward in the North Territory at about the 48. We haven't seen much of Delavo in the first half. I don't think he had a carry. Give Delavo a gain of uh, barely two. There's a nice shot, Nate Kautzer, with a big smile on his face. Nice kid, Nathan Kautzer. Very kind of a quiet kid, shy, work Pass hard. Out. Nice play made by Nate Hummage, almost taking it away from Travis Guns, but a good read by Hummage to break that pass play up. He's had a real good season, a couple big interceptions. There you see the Priggies up there. Nate Hummich, uh did his best to try and catch Shields on that long 72 or 73 yarder back in the first quarter, but couldn't, but uh, made the play that time. Third down and eight, inside handoff, boom! What a stop made by the interior of the north line. Angles, Weberdink. Wow, two yard loss on the play. I think that was uh, Delavo again. Wow. Oh boy, we don't see many hits like that. Somebody's gotta get back north. There we go. Fourth down. Good snap, almost blocked. Getting in there. Lobito, and then there's a fumble on the catch. It's going Let's see who's got it. East, unless someone in there takes it away. They're throwing people away. Get out of there! Who's got it? They still haven't signaled. Uh, East is running off like they have it. North is debating, but uh, they're gonna lose that debate. Charlie Stark signaling that East recovered and tough break by North. Their defense is just gonna have to step up again. Wow, and short field too. You did the right thing in stopping them, but Short field for East, and last time they had short field, they got one in for a score, Marty. Wow, just little things. Hand off to Van Stratton, trying to get wide. Check that, it's not Van Stratton, that's Robbins. Robbins gets it down to about the 30. It's gonna be a pickup of five. Second down and five. Shields at quarterback, hands it off to Robbins again. He cuts it back and he's hit and dropped. A good stop made out on the corner by Matt Rolsey. He rolled right over him, Rolsey did. And Stratton close to a first down. He's gonna be just short. But a good cutback by that young man. Third down and less than a yard. You're in two down territory, so regardless if you stop, he's gonna go again. Watch for a quick play here. Shields uh, takes it right up the middle. He's got the yardage for the first down. It'll be first and 10 east. Good idea. Inside the 25. Yeah, just a quick snap and go there for east, and they got that first down, Marty. They make it the 24. Boy, it didn't get much of a spot. Pick up a two. First and 10 ball spotted just inside the 25. We'll call it the 24. Uh, Shields faked the inside handoff to uh, Delavo and then uh, pulled it out and kept it and ran it off uh, right guard. Picks up uh, five yards on the play. A little too much for North's sake.
East hustling up to the line. 8.25 and counting in the third quarter. East on top, 21-20. Delavo trying to get to the outside. He slips one tackler and then is hit down at about the 16-yard line. Oh, you're right, Marty. They had him for a big loss there. Alex Hinsey had him wrapped up, but he broke that tackle. and Big gainer more than what they should have had there. Again, you're looking at four down territory, Chris, so they're gonna have to stop them not only on third, but also fourth. Yeah, you said they don't have their kicker, isn't the greatest. Well, with only a one point lead, I don't think you'd wanna risk that. Shield pulled it back out, he scrambles up for the first down near the 10 yard line, inside the 15 for sure. They're gonna spot him at the 13 actually. So a pick up of three yards. Once again, Marty, I think you had a situation there too. You had the initial hit on Shields and bounced off and got yardage well after the play. He's out, I think, here. Coming in is number seven, Devin Johnson. Johnson is uh, quite a runner in his, in his own right, Chris. You're gonna have to keep an eye on that young lad. Yeah, Shields is kind of shaking his hand a little bit. Hand off to Delavo. He slips one tackler before he's finally ridden down near the five yard line. They're gonna spot him at the seven. Give him a gain of six. East is just going to work here. Breaking tackles, hard running. They're gonna bring Shields back in. Second down and about four. We're at the seven yard line. Under seven minutes of the third quarter. Shield back and he keeps it. Runs it off right guard. And gets inside the five near the end zone. At the one yard line, give him a gain of, gain of six. And a first and goal. Well, they've just been uh, knocking it right down North's throat on this drive, Chris. Right, and East brings in their big line. Look at this. Stop us now. Shield keeps it and runs it in, virtually untouched for a one yard touchdown. So they fake the dive right up the middle. Shield keeps it and goes off right tackle and he goes in untouched and it's a touchdown. Another uh, well-designed play, Chris. Yep, all off that fumble, Marty. Yep, that was a killer. There you see them all, see the guy dive in like he's got the ball and Shield just keeps it and runs it in. Now watch out for the two-point conversion, boys. It's 27-20. Oh, running into the kicker. Are they gonna throw a flag? It's good. No flag on that? Oh boy. Boy, and I watched I'd that be, one go and I thought he missed. <laughs> I'd be livid if I was the coach. Man, he got kicker got knocked right on his butt. No call. But with 631 remaining, North trails it now. 28 to 20. There's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin like you've never seen before. Andrews and Rigoza are gonna be back to take this kickoff. We don't know what happened with uh, Eric Seafelt. He's on the sideline, Chris, uh, with his helmet off. I don't know if he got banged up on the last return or if it was on this last defensive stand, but uh, in any case, Cesar is gonna return, or be one of the return men. Nick Hitch getting ready to kick it. He hasn't been the most consistent kicker tonight. North needs to stay on their toes. Well, five minute and ten, five minute, ten second drive for East there, which included that fumble. Rigoza takes it right at the 15. He's at the 20, 25, trying to slip a tackler and leans forward to about the 27 or 28 yard line. Still a lot of time left. You're just down a touchdown. No different than you were when you started the second half. Well, the only thing that's a little discouraging, Chris, is the defense uh, wasn't able to stop East at all. He just motored right down the field. All right, that uh, first 
you know, they've been pretty good, you know, the last few drives. But again, the short field. That yeah, made a big difference. Boy, it's twice that they've had short fields. They scored one on the, the uh, mess up on the kickoff, and yeah. now this one. Inside handoff. I think that was Dragoza, but we're going to have to wait and see. Or maybe it was Andrews. 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 Ian Andrews on the carry. Not much. Picks up uh, maybe three yards on the pickup for Ian. That was his first carry of the night, Chris. Second down and seven. Big handoff, give it to Rigoza. He tries to cut it back. And a good shoe shoestring tackle made out on the wing by uh, Sam I.M. Van Stretten. Actually, Ian Andrews did have a carry in the first half. Chris won for five yards. Rigoza picks up one yard on his attempt. It's going to be a uh, third and six for North. And uh, they want to get something going if they can. Yep. He's making it pretty tough, however. Going to their bag of tricks here and see if we find Schmitz or uh, Trilling someplace out here, or maybe Couch. Tight end set now. Andrews goes into the wing left. Oh, no sides. Moss looking, looking, pulls it down, and he's sacked. Back to the 20-yard line. Looking for uh, Trilling on the down and out, but... Uh, couldn't release the ball quick enough and he gets dropped for a loss of 12 yards. They're gonna come. Gilson's kick is blocked, but he's gonna get a pretty good bounce on it. Goes out of bounds near the 45, but again, make it the 44. But again, East is gonna have a relatively short field, Chris, to work with only 44 yards away from Paydirt. Uh, I knew they were coming, and uh, you see it. He did everything he could to get rid of it. Josh did, and it just. I uh, think two things worked against him, Chris. One is they had a good rush. There's no doubt about that. But when his kick left his foot, it was a low liner. Well, 4:41 remaining in the third quarter. A lot of wide receivers for East here. We haven't seen this much tonight. They've been running it most of the time, but they pitch it out. Trying to get the corner and getting it is Delavo. And uh, he gets inside the north 40 yard line. Good pickup by that young man. Yeah, went to the long side of the field there, spread everybody out, and uh, wasn't much over there for blue defenders. There you see him. You know, well, it's not even a clip, say. Huh? <laughs> No, I didn't think that at all. You know, you gotta, you gotta turn him in, Marty. You got it, you got, you're out there, you gotta turn him in. Shield back, going deep. Uh -oh. He's got his receiver out there, makes a nice catch and running it into the end zone for Green Bay East is Peter Bergstrom. A nice pass by uh, Shields, Chris. He saw the receiver open and he just uh, let him adjust to the ball, put a lot of air under it. Good point, Marty. Oh boy, 39-yard uh, touchdown pass. And there you see him wide open. The defense uh, messed up on that one. Shields with another touchdown pass. He had one earlier to Guns. Kick by Hitch is up and good. And now it stands east up 35 to 20. And we're uh, just under four minutes left in the third quarter. Rechargeable batteries let us go anywhere and do anything. But the freedom to go unplugged comes with responsibility. Look at that. Wow. The responsibility to recycle. If you've got old rechargeable batteries hanging around, take them in to be recycled. It's easy and it's good for the environment. Check us out online or give us a call at 1-800-8-BATTERY to learn more. Very efficient. We we're just talking about the passing of uh, Green Bay East in the ball game. They are three for five for 90 yards and two touchdowns. I wonder what the passing rating is. 
<laughs> well, doesn't uh, out of the house, right up through the ceiling. Doesn't collect. Colstead have that little thing on her computer over there to figure out quarterback rating right away. <laughs> Rigoza takes it at the ten, trying to get the corner. He does. Now being knocked down was Bergstrom, but he got right back up and made the stop on Rigoza. Bergstrom got laid out on a nice block. We didn't see who knocked him over, but uh, he got up and make, made the play on the kickoff return. Right, and you're gonna watch here. There's gonna be a bunch of blue shirts standing around again. You just got it, you got him down, and all of a sudden, voot, there he gets up and makes the play, and just show a little more effort, get a little, one more hit on somebody, and uh, ball spotted on him. at the 26 yard line, I think. Schmidt goes out to a wide left position. Fake inside handoff. Moss keeps it, slips one tackler, but can't slip the second and the third and leans forward to about the 27, 28 yard line, make it a pickup of two for Dave. What uh, really is going to hurt his rushing stats, Chris? is that 12-yard uh, sack because I believe in high school football sacks go towards the rushing yardage. Rigoza steps up into a wing left. Moss fakes a handoff back. He's being rushed heavily, gets the pass away, and it's incomplete. Rushed heavily by uh, Van Stratton and David Will. That play just took a little bit to become available, and develop, and uh, on came the rush, and uh, no place you see right Charlie. there. Are they gonna get it? They're gonna get that uh, grounding, because the only person out there was TJ Angles. Charlie Stark, Al Severson, Severson, pardon me, the official on the left with the ball. You don't see him in your picture right now. Al and I worked a bunch of games this summer together. And uh, I believe the other one is Mark Wolfel. Yep, Mark. That's right. I recognize them. Oh, now they call intentional grounding? Well, I think that uh, was a uh, right call, Marty. Ah, uh, it's a just bunch of late. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> just late. Hey. <laughs> oh. After they realized that 86 was not 66. <laughs> <laughs> There's, uh, Even Colette Colstead is complaining about the yeah. officiating, and then they're getting the calls. <laughs> <laughs> well, just a little slow to make a decision there. I think, like I said, they're just saying, oh, that's a 66, not an 86, an ineligible receiver. And uh, this should also be a, well, this, what I don't know what they called here. They didn't call an intentional grounding. What they called was an illegal shift, but it should have been intentional grounding. Should be a loss of down, which now they're making it well, third. Well, intentional grounding would be a loss of down. Illegal shift would right. be... But I, he gestured illegal shift, I believe, but now they got the downs right. It should be third down for North, facing a big uphill climb here, Marty. Third down and about uh, 13 or 14, actually about 15. Moss dropping back, fakes, and then throws. He's got a receiver open, but it's uh, too deep and sails out of bounds. Andrews was the intended receiver but the pass goes incomplete. And that'll make it fourth down. And uh, East has uh, stiffened up on the defense here in the third quarter and uh, they've been rolling on offense. Fumbled snap. Gilson uh, got it. Guns fumbled the punt and running up and taking it away for North was Matt Rolsey. Uh, not a good choice by uh, Travis Guns, Chris. Uh, he should have let that one bounce. I think he was trying to make a play at shortstop. Number 35 making the recovery was Matt Rolsey. Same thing that North did before. Well, let's see if North can capitalize. Bingo, right back at, at you. They need the same opportunity. They got a score here. Still a lot of time left in this ball game, Marty. There you see it. He tries to come up and catch it on a short hop. and uh, Yeah, he plays shortstop. He thought he could one hop that thing. Well, he forgot his mitt. Yeah. <laughs> First and 10, North on the 42. 
Fake hand of quick pop to the middle to uh, Schmitz, but uh, he can't make the one-handed catch. The pass goes incomplete. Boy. Second down for North. We're at the 254 mark. It's 35 to 20 east on top. They've uh, led virtually the entire way, but North uh, hanging in there. There's Tom Wright. Oh, Tommy, but one of the girl. Goldschlager twins. Yeah, he's pretty happy the Yankees got a split in Anaheim. Rigoza trying to take it outside, but uh, the defense stayed home and Shields made the play. Rigoza hit for about a three or a four yard loss. It's gonna be third down. Loss of three on the play. Uh, another big third down play for the Raiders. Hasn't been easy. Re no, a lot of wide receivers for North on this play too. Moss straight back, has good protection. A ball thrown over the middle is knocked down by an East defender and it's gonna be fourth down. Stepping up and batting the ball away was Jeremy Geisler. Josh Gilson back to uh, punt it. Another bad snap. Got it away, he's gonna get a nice bounce. Bergstrom picks it up at the 30, and then he's hit and dropped at about the 34. It'll be first and 10 east. Running out of space, Chris, and there's still almost two minutes left. That's what happens when you start passing the ball too much. First and 10 East, ball spotted on the 34 yard line. And uh, what makes matters even worse is they're up by 15 points somewhere along the line. North has got to get the ball in good field position and punch it in. Robbins on the carry, picks up a few yards. What are we giving them on that play, coach? One or two? She's easy. Give them two. Second down and eight. I see Jan Herman right there. Brian's here. He's playing with Wisconsin right now. Walk on. Not this weekend. Nope, he's getting red shirted, so he's not. Shields on a keeper is stood up by Rolsey and stopped at the 39. Matt Rolsey again, standing tall on the defense, Chris. I saw Brian at halftime. I mean, he already looks bigger and stronger and it's only been like a month or something and just amazing what uh, Division I programs and stuff can do to you. Actually, they're spotting it at the 40, so it's gonna be a gain of four. Here we go. Shields back, throws oh it out. My. He's got a receiver out there open. Well, I don't know where the defensive backs are. They're not uh, playing as well as they did in the first half. Just constant mistakes by North. Langley's on the catch. Lindsay, number 29 on the catch. There you see, no. First corner the there. East ball is at the 38. Wow. Jeepers. Back to back plays too as the quarter's winding down. Shields back looking. He's got a receiver out there. Bergstrom can't quite come up with it. Good throw again by Shields. When you mention he's got a good arm, he certainly does, coach. His first in completion. It's going to be second down and 10. Pitch out, running for a daylight and getting open. 
for East and getting down inside the five yard line is big number 35, Preston Delaville. And good blocking out in front by East and they might get another touchdown here, Chris, before the end of the quarter. Ball is gonna be spotted. There you see some pretty good blocking up front. Gunn's making a good screen block before uh, Delaville is knocked out of bounds. Actually at the six, but they're marking it at the six, so a good spot. First and goal, ball spotted on the six yard line. 32 yard run by Delaville. Yeah, David Thompson, the only one there. I don't know if that's gonna be the end of the quarter. On the carry for uh, East was Robbins, but he stopped short of the goal line. Call it the two, pick up a four, and uh, that's the end of the quarter. With one quarter remaining, East leads at 35 to 20. Back at North High School for Green Bay East. Leads at 35 to 20, but they're gonna run their first play. There you see Brian Andrews on the field camera. Brian always does an excellent job. East is gonna have it first and goal. Make it second and goal at the two yard line. East uh, really had it their way after that long Kautzer run for a touchdown. Yeah, they had it 21 to 20. 11 41 yeah, in the it quarter. Been 21 to 21. But, yeah. uh, oh well, that's since then, a the lot the of dam. mistakes. Fumble mm -hmm. on a kickoff and, or a punt and penalties and a lot of bad things. So they got to get a stop here somehow. Delavo is uh, hitting drop short of the goal line. And have an ex they need to have a big explosive quarter here. They got, first, they got to somehow find a way to stop East down here. And then they got to turn it around and. Score yourself there, you saw a nice push by the Raiders. Give Delavo maybe a gain of one. Actually, uh, no gain on the play. He might have lost a couple of inches. It's gonna be third down and goal. Shields under center. Shields keeps it, running to the end zone, and he leans in. The last little lean, Chris, got him over the goal line for a touchdown. Two yard pickup for Shields. That's East, another touchdown. There you see it as he goes in. Hitch in to attempt the extra point. It's 41 to 20 right now. Flags and whistles stop the extra point attempt. Offside on north, move it half the diff distance. Well, let's see what East does. Does he go for two now, coach? I don't know. 41. You already got a 21 point lead. You might as well go for one. Oh, now they're gonna bring in the horses. I Well, no, let's see what they do here. I think you're right, Marty. We've just given them a situation where they might as well go for two. Josh Robbins, Delavo, and I believe it's uh, Van Stratton in the backfield. They hand it off to, Del to Van Stratton, or Robbins, pardon me, and he stopped short. And that's just kind of what North planned to do was get offside, get him a little closer and bait him into going for two and stopping him. And it worked. Well, with 11-18 remaining in the ball game, East on top, 41 to 20. If you give me a fish. 
If you give someone a fish. You feed them for a day. Teach someone to fish. You feed them for a lifetime. Give me a fish, and you'll feed me for a day. Teach me to fish, and you'll feed me for a lifetime. Through Volunteers of America, you can help change lives in your community. In the last five seasons, East and North have combined for 62.8 points per game. Unfortunately, East has more than half of that, 62. And we're at 61 right now. Yeah. Jeez. Hitch getting ready to uh, kick off, and the uh, Norse receivers are up. Uh, now, Andrews takes it right at the 20. Trying to get to the outside, but uh, he's hit and dropped by uh, Jared Thomas, number five. Thomas making a good stop. It's going to be first and 10 for North. They trail it 41 to 20. Well, by going for two before, it really didn't matter. Here you see Andrews on the replay, and again, uh, Good tackle there by East. By going for two, it didn't hurt them because they're still up by three touchdowns and three extra points. So it didn't really hurt them that bad. North's now gonna be in a situation where they're gonna have to hurry up a little bit and probably put the ball up. Schmitz wide left. Inside handoff to Ross. Struggling forward, gets it up near the 43. Not much of a gain for uh, Peter. And now, uh, as I said, they're going to put it up. <laughs> that's why we're up here and not down there. Yeah, but that's okay. Well, I was going to say, too, here. Coach Kolstad knows that they're going to have to put it up, and so He's they're going to put pressure on Dave Moss, and they have put a lot of pressure on him all night. You have to maybe get him out of the pocket a little bit. North had pretty su good success in the first half, but. Uh, Dave Moss was 0 for 4 in the third quarter. Backward lateral, Schmidt looking deep. He's got a man out there, he goes up, but uh, couldn't get it. It was a backward lateral, and then the pass incomplete. Well, the runners stopped their route, and uh, then uh, Schmidt threw it there and overthrew it. Good idea, good play, and actually it burned the uh, East players, but uh, again, just fit. Failing to execute. Oh. And that's what Coach Brixen is telling Cesar Ragoza, why'd you stop? Keep running. You had it. Again, just little things that uh, causing big troubles. All right, two wide receivers off to the right. Moss straight back, picks up a little bit of a block. He's looking and then he throws it out of bounds in the direction of Ben Trilling. Todd Stuffergren uh, has the ball there. He does a little bit of umpiring in the summertime too, Chris. Yep. Stuffy? Yep. Anyway, pass incomplete. Makes it fourth down. Josh Gilson in the punt. Gilly's had a fairly good night tonight. Boom, that one. Thomas takes it on the 22. Trying to get to the outside. And he's pushed out of bounds. Good coverage that time by North. Thomas. Wonder if he was gonna do the same thing, Marty, and turn it upfield, but... Uh, well, he didn't have much of a chance. Not that time. Good coverage by the Raiders. Pretty good wind there. You can see the flag standing straight out. The wind coming from the North, blowing south. First and 10 east, ball on the 29. Now, I'd be surprised if they put it up a whole lot right now they would want to shorten the game yep they're gonna pound it now well, they ran this formation before and did a running play and did the pitch and there's Delavo trying to get to the outside slips one tackler and he's through the line of scrimmage now it's a foot race he's at the 30 how much is gonna catch him no he doesn't took a swipe at him and Delavo goes all the way 71 yards for a touchdown Preston Delavo. I think if Hummich runs with them a little bit longer, he, he catches them. 
but he swiped at him and missed his leg. And Delavo took it in. Oh boy. Delavo didn't have one carry in the first half, Chris. He's well over 100 yards for the game. He had five carries for 52 yards in the third quarter. And uh, now the 71 yarder gives him over 120 yards. Well, East have scored in a minute 14. They scored in five seconds, and now they scored in 12 seconds. And now it's getting ugly. It's almost time for the mercy clock. With uh, 9.50 remaining in the ball game, it's 48 to 20, East on top. Two million seals and counting killed over the last decade. Make your voice heard. Visit ifa.org to end the cruelty. Back at North High School, where uh, Golden Raiders struggling in the second half. Our next ball game will be uh, at Sheboygan South when Green Bay Southwest comes to town. That'll be a seven o'clock game. Be a uh, huge I, game. I don't know if I'm going to be at that one, Chris. Uh, they have a concert over at church on that night, and uh, so you may have to look at getting a partner. I'll let you know in a couple of days. And uh, apparently, you're not going to be here on October 29th when we're out at uh, Lakeland College. They play play Aurora from Illinois. But uh, anyway, our next game is uh, next Friday when Green Bay Southwest comes to town. Yeah. Ian Andrews takes a kickoff at the 29, at the 19. Slips a couple of tacklers, motoring up over the 40 yard line before he's finally dropped. So a good return by Ian. And North will have it first and 10. Big game next week as I said, you see Andrews with really giving a full effort there, trying to get as many yards as he can. Nice run, Ian. Big F, uh, game next week for Sheboygan South with playoff implications. Alex Hinsey leads the uh, offensive line up to the ball. Moss still at quarterback. Andrews in motion, inside handoff to Ross, but uh, he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and dropped after a short gain. We do know that South at halftime was trailing Green Bay Preble 14 to six. Preble, of course, still trying to win the conference. They, of course, will play Notre Dame uh, next week, going into the day, Notre Dame and Preble both 6-0, and undefeated, and 4-0 uh, and in conference. They're trying to set up their big tilt next week, which will be played at I wonder, Notre Dame. I wonder if Channel 32 is going to cover that one up in the Green Bay area. They do a high school game a week. Moss on a keeper, fakes, trying to get around, gets the pass away, nice leaping attempt. And catch is made by Brad Schmitz. Down to the uh, east 46 yard line. Schmitty's second catch of the game. There you see it. Good fake and Moss throwing on the run. Uh, made a real fine throw, Chris. Twelve yard pickup. Andrews in motion again. Draw play to uh, Ross, but he's hit in the backfield. He's going to lose about three or four yards. Make that you know. Kautzer. Kautzer. Ball is spotted right on the 50, make it a four yard loss. Kautzer, number 32 on the carry. 32. Nick Kautzer trying to get some, a little frustrated there. Yeah. Not a lot of blocking. He's not used to those minus fours. He likes those plus 60s better. Trilling splits out wide to the right. And a wing on the right side also. Moss rolling. Quick pass out to Kautzer. He makes a nice catch. Cuts it back. Slips one tracker, And then he's dropped 
at the 44. Guns over there along with uh, Tony Phillips is making a stop. Nice catch made by uh, Nate. Going to make it third down and nine. Pick up of only five on the play. I got a feeling North will go for it on fourth, Chris. They don't get it here. Coulter on the end run, trying to get around, but can't. He's actually hit for a loss. He's showing good speed on that play, Chris. You know, he thought he was going to get around him, and all of a sudden, this guy was just right, right there. there. <laughs> yeah. That was actually a loss of a yard for Nate. Makes it fourth and 10. I don't think they're going to go for it. Well, they are. Oh, yeah. They got oh, yeah. 28 down. Might as well. Fake, fake. Going deep. He's got Trilling right down the middle, but overshot him by quite a bit. And that gives East the ball. First and 10. Well, the last time we thought they'd uh, pound the ball and run it out, they ran it 75 yards. Well, they wanted to run it out. Right. But uh, North Delaval wouldn't cooperate. Yeah, well, that's true. Talk to that boy on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Delavo has it again through the line of scrimmage, and he's running hard, and he's finally stopped at the 40-yard line by North Tyler Chambers. Now that kid didn't have one carry in the first half, Chris. I don't even know if he saw the field. And uh, he's just running wild here in the second half. Good burst of speed, good balance, staying on his feet. First and 10, ball on the 40. Johnson has it, getting to the outside, picks up a little bit of a block and he's finally ridden out of bounds at the, th at the 20. 20 yard pickup. First and 10 for East. Johnson under center. Shields is a wide receiver out here on the left. Pitch out to Delavo. Gets a block, cuts it back, and he's hit and stopped by Nate Hummich, but not before he gets a sizable gain. Pickup of nine yards for Delavo. He's just been uh, murder on the North defense. There you see how much making the stop. Didn't he have just a handful of carries in the first half? He had nothing in the well, first Well, nothing half. in the first, I was gonna say, I don't even, wow. <laughs> I look at the sheet here, his numbers, uh, number isn't even mentioned in the first yeah, half. unbelievable. Johnson, inside carry to Delavo, bounces to the outside, running to the end zone, touchdown. Well, he looks like he's all conference. Oh, and North's defense is just worn down. There you see it. Again, pretty good blocking. Just bounces to the outside and runs it in. Actually a relatively simple play for Preston Delavo. Well, that took 54 seconds, Marty. That sounded long enough. Oh, I'm sorry, a minute and six. I can't subtract. That's all right. Nick Hitchin, good snap and placement, and his boot is through the upright and that makes it 55 to 20 with 540 remaining in the ball game. This is a tree that was never chopped down to make a crutch that was never needed by a child who never got polio because vaccine 
was never in short supply, thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either. Over the years, Rotary Club members have helped immunize over 2 billion children against polio. Soon, the world will be polio-free. Rotary. Humanity in motion. I was going to say, Marty. There you see it. East has gotten the ball five times in the second half. You stopped them on the opening, but you fumbled the punt, so they got it right back, and they scored every time since. 21 to 20 at one time. We were just talking about Preston Delavo as uh, we're in, in the break, and he has, a, what did I say, 145 yards all in the second half. He had uh, 52 in the third quarter on five carries, and here in the fourth quarter, he's got 93 yards and only four carries. So he's got a healthy average. Andrews fighting forward. Trying to get up, and it's a scrum. He's been running hard, Marty. Yeah, I think he's gonna fall just short of the 40. And now the clock won't stop, Marty. Yeah, it's the mercy rule. Oh, they are gonna spot, oh, he, they're gonna give him over the 40. But we'll call it the 40. You know, Al places the ball on the yard line like he calls balls and strikes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my partner. But we don't mind that. That keeps the game moving. Kautzer is the deep back. Ross, the up back. Pitch goes to Nady. Cuts it up. Had a nice opening. Picks up about, oh, five or six yards. This uh, loss will uh, kind of overshadow the good night that Nate Kautzer has had. He's pulling been... out for North was Peter Reschke. Spot the ball on the 46, give Kautzer a gain of six at second and four. Fake handoff, Moss on a keeper. He's got a blocker in front, uses him. Base mask. Oh, that, that was his own guy. guy. <laughs> Alex Hinsey, I, I thought I taught him in gym. You don't pull on the face mask, Alex. I know. The, the, <laughs> you want to push him, maybe, but don't face mask him. I'll tell you what. You know, T.J. Ingles going, what was going on there? That was your own guy. <laughs> we all saw it. Yeah. You're, you're watching. Oh, we here. missed so, it. It was too late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> you know, Alex, we don't we'll, we'll worry about the face mask, buddy. We all saw it, but, uh, you know. Pickup of eight yards on the play when all is said and done. Schmitz splits out wide left. Inside hand off to Kautzer. He's through the line of scrimmage. He's battling forward. He's knocked out of bounds inside the 35. You know, I thought if he'd have cut back to the left, he had two blockers in front of him. But... Uh, that's easy for us to see out here. It's a much different view when you're down on the on the football field. But a good pickup. I think the uh, bench watches tackle. There you see those two blockers. You right. know, if he cuts it back to the left, he might have been able to get a little farther. You know, they were asked the, the fans and the coaches that maybe asking for a late hit out of bounds. But I'll tell you, he wrapped him up before the line. But right. then the extra pound down was probably the uh, unnecessary thing. But uh, there you see a couple guys that are. Uh, on. <laughs> They're not in the National Honor Society. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might be, but it must be pretty easy to get in there. <laughs> Put your shirt on, boys. Who carried the ball that time? <laughs> Who? Ten? There's no number ten out there. I take Josh Maxey. Maxey did get the carry. First carry of the night. We're talking. Good, good thing we got help up here. <laughs> Second down and one. A uh, nine, we give Max Maxi a gain of one. It's about the first time I've ever been mentioned with the National Honor Society in a discussion before. <laughs> Rigoza has it, picks up a little bit of a block and gets it inside the 30 to the 29. Cesar Rigoza on the carry. Two minutes and counting. Two minutes and counting. Moss under center, barking out the signals, gives it to uh, 
number 12, Andy Sal Salasek. Yep. Salasek. Salasek. He's a holy namer, holy familyer. Okay, you'd know about that. Picks up uh, maybe a yard. Nice to see some of these uh, kids that don't get a whole lot of playing time get in the ball game. Fourth down and four. North, of course, going for it. Kyle Rosenwald in the backfield, number 65. And he, he gets it, but he's not gonna get the first down. Stopped right at the 25. Yeah, but he's a statistic now. Yeah. That, I suppose, should be a good thing, huh? Yep, clock stops for the change of possession, and then she's gonna roll again. First and 10 East. Clock is rolling as we speak, and the officials are taking their sweet time getting the ball down. East will get uh, one more play. Johnson gonna take the snap for the Red Devils. And he fakes a handoff inside and keeps it and tries to go wide. And he's not going to go very far. And uh, that is going to be the ball game. There you see it. We're going to step out for a short break. And when we come back, uh, Chris will make some closing comments. And uh, we'll wrap this ball game up. Today I want to talk to you about a very important subject, and cruelty to animals. Emmy was a victim of cruelty and someone did something about it. Someone called the ASPCA and put an end to it, because Emmy can't talk. The fact is, animals are viewed all over this country, and people sit by and do nothing. It's not slick, or fly, or cool, or none of that. It's just cruel. If you're aware of any animal abuse, go to ASPCA.org to find out what you can do now to make a difference. She can't do it for herself. There's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin like you've never seen before. Rechargeable batteries let us go anywhere and do anything. But the freedom to go unplugged comes with responsibility. Look at that. Wow. The responsibility to recycle. If you've got old rechargeable batteries hanging around, take them in to be recycled. It's easy and it's good for the environment. Check us out online or give us a call at 1-800-8-BATTERY to learn more. Have a safe trip. We're back at North High School where uh, Green Bay East uh, really was rolling in the second half. They won it by a score of 55 to 20. At halftime, it was 21 to 20. North right in the ball game. Stats for East was uh, a kid by the name of Preston Delavol had 145 yards, Chris, and only nine carries and two touchdowns. He really ran wild in the second half. The other. Uh, Key stat for East was Tom Shield had 15 carries and 119 yards, two yards rushing, and also threw for two touchdowns. Uh, I didn't bother figuring out all the stats in terms of passing and things. Our fans can look for that in tomorrow's paper. But uh, North hung in there for the first half. They just didn't have it in the second half. Well, as we've mentioned over and over, 21-20 uh, to 20 went in, took the opening drive, and scored. 
Then we had a situation where East got the ball for five straight times and scored, and just unbelievable, led by, you know, a miscue. Um, the last time they didn't score, they scored on eight to 12 of their uh, possessions today, just unbelievable. You know, I don't know if it was adjustments or changes or what took place, but uh, a lot of good things for East. I thought North made a lot of, lot of mistakes, penalties when they didn't need to. Uh, again, missed tackles at times, and again, uh, some some bad things that led to this defeat. A, a game I really thought that, that coming in, North was going to win tonight. They looked like they had a great shot in the first half because they stayed right with them. Uh, one thing, and we've mentioned this over the years with uh, Coach John Colstead, is he really uses his players well, and we saw the mixing and matching with the quarterbacks and, you know, Delavo not playing in the first half and running wild in the second half, so we saw some of that coaching strategy from Coach Colstead. Oh, no doubt about it, and he's been there a lot a lot of years and very very successful coach and very intense coach and you know one thing that they do is they can play defense and they put a lot of pressure today on uh, Dave Moss and Dave didn't complete a lot of passes either tonight and uh, you know but again that defense was intensified and really was in there and again it just was uh, too bad for Sheboygan North because I really thought they were going to get this one I, I really did and now they're going to have to pick one up next week against West because the task after that is Notre Dame and that's going to be a tough one. Our next game will be uh, October 14th when Green Bay Southwest comes to town at South. Uh, Chris will be there for sure. I'm not sure if I'll be there, but uh, we'll worry about that next week. Uh, for the crew, Mike, Jeff Granke up on top, Brian Andrews behind this camera, uh, Scott Miloff, our director in the truck, assisted by uh, Annie McKillop, my partner Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.